Hi everyone, it's Maggie and uh, I'm here with more entries into my fabric postcard challenge. But before uh, I get to that, um, let me just first um, say that I apologize sincerely to the participants that have mailed their packages in and um, don't know whether I have received them or not. I got so overwhelmed with how many I was getting in per day and I was getting behind on, on the videos and it didn't even enter my mind to um, to send out messages letting everyone know that their package was here. So I do apologize. I should have done that and, and I didn't. So um, let me just say that uh, this video is for entries 46, 47, and 48, and they are Joeen Fair, Karen Brake, and Angela Lanier. And I hope I said your name correctly, Angela. And um, for anyone else that uh, has sent theirs in and hasn't seen it on video yet, I made a list of the, of the packages that are... Um, here and waiting for me to video and I was trying to keep them in order of when I was getting them in and um, I was kind of piling the um, envelopes and boxes up and of course they fell over and <laughs> so I could no longer do that and I couldn't remember whose came in you know first so um, let me just say I wrote down the names and so if you're wondering if I've received your uh, package or not, um, this will let you know. So as of today, the packages I still have to do a video on are from Robin Osborne, Sandra Lipper, Katie, Kate, sorry, and I know it's Kateri Burnett, uh, Sylvie Bridges, Marianne Danielson, Irene Bojo, Rose Alcala, Deanna Porras, Giski van der Zee, Mary Robson, and Donna Gonzalez. So those are all the um, packages I have so far that I have not videoed. So again, I do apologize to all you ladies. I'm, if they've been here for, and some I know have been here for like, almost a week because I went away last weekend for a long weekend and I should have stayed home and caught up but I did need uh, the break away and whenever I get a chance to go to the ocean um, I do that so again I hope you'll accept my apologies okay now this is number 46 and it's Joanne Fairs and she sent me some goodies and I'll show you those first look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Gorgeous medallion. Let me move these out of the way so you can see. That's going to show it much better. And it's all gold and, and silver. Thank you so much, Joanne. That is just beautiful. And then she said, sent a um, flat back pearl piece. Love that. I'll use that for a doily page. And these are beautiful. I've never seen these before and I don't think I've seen the oval shape before. Look at how beautiful those are. Thank you so, whoops, thank you so much. I will definitely use these. And then these little tiny um, flat backs and I'm not sure what you'd call these but these will be good if I can um, ever get to a Christmas project the red is beautiful and they, then these little um, beaded flowers and you'll have to tell me if you made these Joanne let me see if I can get this open oh my gosh my I'm always complaining about my hands. Look at how beautiful. I bet she made these. Thank you so much. Look at how beautiful those are. 
and in all different colors. And then she sent this piece here. I'm not going to take it out of the wrapper though. That's beautiful. That will go beautiful on a fabric book. And then she sent some metal pieces, some gears and some keys. These are beautiful. I love keys and, and the gears. Let me just put those back in so I don't lose them. And then some flat back pearl strand. Oh, my fingers. It's so aggravating when I can't get them to work. Oh, sorry. I'm just going <laughs> to. I'll be here all day trying to open that. So thank you so much. And then here's her postcard. And look at that. I'm thinking it's, it is Gypsy. There's a. There's a uh, gypsy image right there. And look at the gorgeous colors that, um, that's what I love about the gypsy themes, are the gorgeous colors. But when I made that gypsy book, I found it so hard to use all the colors. But this looks almost like a crazy quilt type of um, piece. It's just beautiful, Joanne, and it's so unique and it's perfect to add to my um, growing collection here. And then the back, she's doing felting too. And then here's her tag. Um, she lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and that is a gorgeous place to live. Her favorite colors are white, cream, ecru, and pink. And her favorite style is shabby chic. So, oh, I didn't even show you the tag she made, too, for it with her information. Love all the fibers. It's beautiful, Joanne. Joanne, thank you so much for um, participating. Okay, so that's Joanne's. And then the next one is from Karen Brake. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is her card. So she also sent me some goodies. And look at this. She knows I love lavender. And oh, those are so beautiful. Those will be beautiful flower centers. Thank you so much, Karen. And she packaged it beautifully, too. And let's see if I can take some out just really quickly. Oh, look, did you make these? Oh, they're like in large tea bags, tea bag holders. Oh, I love those. I love the size too, Karen. Oh, thank you so much. I will use those. Those will be fun to alter. And let's see. Oh, she sent so many buttons. Look at how beautiful. And flat back pearls. Oh, thank you so, so much. I'm going to make, make a mess here. I don't want to lose anything. Whoop. Oh, thank you. Love those. Let me put those up there. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, Karen, thank you. I don't have any um, color seam binding left. I um, had some pieces that someone had sent me colors um, like a couple of years ago and I ended up using it all. So now I only have white and um, this is amazing. Thank you so much. I use seam binding in almost everything I make. So thank you for this. That was very thoughtful. And then this says handmade. Oh, how beautiful. I think this is a um, a bookmark marker. 
and look at how beautiful and look at the amethyst and oh my gosh thank you for making this for me Karen I read every night before I go to bed I'm an avid reader I've I read hundreds of books a year just ask the librarian at our local library I take like 20 20 books out a month oh thank you so much I love this oh and I will definitely um, use that for my books Oh my gosh, you sent me so much. And look at the flowers. There's fabric flowers and paper flowers. And look at the beads spray here. Oh, thank you. I will use these. I eventually try to use everything. It takes me a while sometimes. But I eventually do try. Okay. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, look at how beautiful. Did you did you make this? It um it almost looks like it's made on vellum. That is gorgeous. And this piece here. Perfect for a dangle. Oh, and look at these beaded flowers. Those are beautiful. I am going to eventually challenge myself to another gypsy book, and those would be perfect. Here's another one of those pieces. And here's some uh, flowers, a flower applique. And this piece here, how beautiful. It's, um, it's flat back, so that'll be awesome to put in a book. And this beautiful little trim here. Oh, they're pieces. Okay. They're appliques. Thank you so much. I love this color green. Thank you. And then here's some hearts. And a shell. And a butterfly. And, oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. That will have to go on a special, either uh, the back of a doily book or um, in a fabric book. But that's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Karen. And look at this beautiful seagull one. I love anything to do with the ocean. Thank you so, so much. And then, oh, I just saw a card. It was down the bottom. Look at the beautiful card. And it says, hi, Maggie. Thank you for the chance to enter your challenge. I hope you like what I have made. If you can't use the goodies, please feel free to pass them on. Take care and crafty hugs, Karen. Thank you so much, Karen. And that was kind of you to say I could pass things on because... I do like to share. So thank you for that. And then, all right, let me just put, I have to put this all back in her box so I don't mess anything else up. I've already messed up two people. <laughs> so, oh, and look at these. Um, oh, I keep forgetting I can open it up from the bottom. And look at these beautiful laces. She put in a dangle lace. And she put in a, a gathered fabric lace. And you don't know how badly I needed, I needed this. I'm working on a project right now. And I've used so much of my gathered lace that I've run out. And I'm waiting. I did purchase a, a few gathered laces this week. And I'm waiting to get them in the mail. So thank you for this. Now I can use it on my um, project. Oh, I'm just going to leave that out for now. And then she wrapped it in this beautiful tool ribbon. And I will use that. And here's her 
postcard. And it is gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful, Karen. I know Karen's on YouTube, but I don't think she does videos. I'll have to double check now. I love this tiny little trim. And look at how adorable that is. And I love these appliques in the corners and the lace. And then here's the back. Handmade with stamps, ink, love, and prayers just for you by Diane. And now I I remember she likes to go go by Diane, I think. And um I'm s I keep calling you Karen. And she made the beautiful pocket. And let's see, she's got a little a little booklet. Her it's her name. Um, yeah, she does not do videos. Her YouTube name is Karen Brake. Um, June 6th is her birthday. Uh, color pink, medium gray, together with pastels or dark colors. I love that combo, too. Style, anything pretty. I can appreciate the beauty in all things. Oh, that's so nice. She has a blog, Lady, Lady Dies Creations dot wordpress dot com uh, and she does have a zip it store um, let's see I have her address her email um, she has four grown children one boy oldest three girls and three grandchildren one girl oldest and two boys that's awesome I sign my cards using my middle name Diane that's that's where I remember it. So thank you so much for entering, uh, Karen. I'm going to call you Karen because that's your YouTube name. And I'll just get it mixed up if I start calling you Diane now. So thank you for entering. And then the last one is from Angela. And let me get her box here. And she wrote me a little note. Let me see here. Well, <clears throat> Hi, Miss Maggie. I hope this finds you well. I, whenever anybody says Miss Maggie, I always feel like a, like a school teacher. <laughs> I hope this finds you well. This is my first fabric postcard, and you said my style, and well, I am not like many that have sent in cards. I use the colors I like. Many of the fabrics are from thrift store clothing that I take apart, even scarves. I added a few happies for you. Enjoy, Angela. Thank you so much. And you know what? I wanted you to make it in your style and your color, so it's perfect. And let me just take this out of the box. And I want to save the card for last. And she did send me some goodies. And she sent beautiful pieces from her thrift store finds. Look at how beautiful that is. Let me hold it up so you can see. And here's another piece of that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then she sent me some lace, some flat lace. And look at the beautiful pin she put on it. And oh my gosh, she made me um, a doll, an altered doll, and um, this is my first one, so thank you so much. And look at how beautiful, look at the colors. Oh, it's so colorful, look at that. Look at the fibers. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much for making this for me. I will hang it up um, with some of my wall hangings. Thank you so much for that, Angela. <clears throat> and then she used some Rick Rack to wrap her um, her postcard. Oh, wait a minute. Well, no, I'll show you that last, I guess, because it was all wrapped up. And here's another beautiful piece. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I just love that. This might have been a curtain, maybe. 
So thank you so much. And then here's her card. And this is another gypsy image. I, I do love the gypsy, the gypsy images. And this is her first one. And um, she outlined it in black, the black pom-pom trim. And I love that um, image. That's a cool image. And she used the colors she loves. And look at the, um, it's like a daisy flower. And she put the bling in the middle. And I love the bling. <laughs> It's just beautiful. Thank you so much. And look at the back. And I love, she made a, a pocket kitty corner. I love that. And this is almost like a crazy quilt too, isn't it? And look at, she made a fan out of a piece of lace. Very clever. Oh, I just love it. Thank you so much. And here's her little tag. And let's see. She lives in... Um, Miss um, MS now, I think, is it Missouri? or I'm not sure if it's Missouri or Mississippi. I think it's Mississippi MS. Her birthday is April 19th. Her favorite colors are orange and lime green, and her style is eclectic. I love that. And you know what? Your colors, your favorite colors, are the same colors as my granddaughter's. She loves orange and lime green. So thank you so much, and thank you for entering. And then she wrapped it all in this beautiful, beautiful piece here. Look at the fan. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending this to me. And actually, I, th I think it might be a, um, a pillowcase. Look at the edging. It's just beautiful, and I love it. And I love the colors in it, too. So thank you, Aguila, and thank you, um, Karen, and thank you, Joanne. Thank you so much for entering, and um, if you'd like, please leave me a comment, and I will be back, uh, if not tomorrow, then the next day with um, more entries. I am, I am determined to catch up by this weekend, but I've been fighting a little bit of a of, of it's not a flu I just haven't been feeling well and um, a respiratory thing's going on my voice keeps going in and out um, you might be able to tell <laughs> and um, so I'm just taking it a little easy and I'm trying to catch up um, with some other commitments that I have uh, in making videos besides the um, challenge so please bear with me everyone and thank you so much for sticking with me and watching all these beautiful fabric postcards. I so appreciate it. So I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.